Max Werthimmel was an Austro-Hungarian-born psychologist who was one of the three founders of Gestalt Psychology, along with Kurt Kofka and Wolfgang Karl Paragraph Lair. He is known for his book, Productive Thinking, and for conceiving the five phenomenon as part of his work in Gestalt Psychology. Werthimmer became interested in psychology and studied under Karl Stumpf at the University of Berlin. Werthimmer then went on to obtain his Ph.D. in 1904 under Oswald Karl I quarter LPE, at the University of Wang one quarter LZBURG and then began his intellectual career teaching in Frankfurt. For a short time he left Frankfurt to work at the Berlin Psychological Institute, but returned in 1929 as a full professor. Werthimer eventually ended up on the faculty of the New School in New York, a position he held until his death. Early life, Max Werthimer was born on April 15, 1880 in Prague, then part of the Bohemian Austria-Hungary. Max was born to Wilhelm and Rosa Werthimer, second to his brother Walter. Wilhelm Werthimer was a successful educator, as well as financier. Rosa Wilhelm, born Rosa Zwicker, had a rich classical education. The Werthimers were active in the Jewish community in which they lived. The Werthimer household was extremely intellectual, therefore Max received education from both his parents. He engaged in political and educational discussions at home, as well as taking piano and violin lessons. After he received one of Baruch Spina's Euro unregistered trademark S books as a gift, he developed an interest towards philosophy. He felt that he and Spinoza shared a culture and common traits. Max began his formal education at age five, at a private elementary school maintained by the Piarist Order of the Roman Catholic Church. It was not uncommon at this time for Jewish children to receive educations from the Catholic Church at this time in Central Europe. At age ten, Max graduated from the Piarist Grammar School and enrolled in the Royal Imperial New City German State High School where he could expect to obtain a degree that would qualify him for admittance to a university. Due to the diverse courses offered by the university, Max began to contemplate his future, and realized his deep fascination with philosophy. Max first started studying law at Charles University, where he also explored other fields such as philosophy, music, physiology, and psychology. After a year, Max left and enrolled in the University of Berlin where he shifted his study to philosophy. At Berlin, Max was able to work in the company of notable figures such as Karl Stumpf, Friedrich Schumann, Georg Elias Marr von Kortelaire, and Erich von Hornbostel. Later on in 1903 he got his PhD from the University of Wang one quarter LZBURG. There he completed research on the lie detector. Later life, Max Werthimer began his academic career at an institute in Frankfurt, later to become the University of Frankfurt. Max left Frankfurt from 1916 to 1929 to pursue a job at the Berlin Psychological Institute but returned to Frankfurt in 1929 as a full professor, where he stayed until 1933. In 1923, while teaching in Berlin, Werthimer married Anna Caro, a physician a Euro unregistered trademark S daughter, with whom he had four children, Rudolf, Valentin, Michael and Lise. Max and Anna Werthimer divorced in 1942. Werthimer represented his country in World War I as a captain in the army. After coming back from the war he gave lectures and pursued his research on perception and gestalt in the University of Berlin until 1933. But in 1933, dramatic changes in Germania Euro unregistered trademark S regime encouraged or convinced Werthimer to leave Germany. He heard Hitler a Euro unregistered trademark S declarations on the media and he felt his Jewish roots were not going to be tolerated or accepted by the government directed by Adolf Hitler. So before Hitler rose to power, the Werthimer family joined the other German emigres and moved to the United States. The Immersa Euro unregistered trademark emigration was arranged through the U.S. consulate in Prague and he and his wife and their children arrived in New York Harbor on September 13, 1933. The family became citizens as well. For a Euro unregistered trademark S. Y. Max Werthimer is referred to as a German-American psychologist. Due to the war, and the mass exodus of Germany's intellectuals, the collaborative work of the three Gestalt psychologists was interrupted. 
both Werthimer and Kofka were assigned to war-related research, while Kohler was appointed the director of an anthropoid research station on Tenerife, in the Canary Islands. The three men reunited after the war ended and continued further research on the experiments. Along with his move to America, Max accepted a professional position at age 53 in New York City at the New School for Social Research. The new school was only 14 years old when Max got the chance to teach various courses there. Max remained at the new school for the last decade of his life. He remained in touch with his European colleagues, many of whom had also emigrated to America. Kofka was teaching at Smith College, Kohler at Swarthmore College, and Lewin at Cornell University and the University of Iowa. Although in declining health, he continued to work on his research of problem solving, what he preferred to call a Euro OE productive thinking. A Euro he completed his only book, Productive Thinking, on the subject in late September 1943. Max died of a heart attack just three weeks after the completion of his book at his home in New Rochelle, New York. Werthimer is interred in Beechwood Cemetery, also in New Rochelle. Max is father of Michael Werthimer, a successful psychologist. By phenomenon, Max Werthimer began the formal founding of Gestalt Psychology in 1910 as he began experiments on the Phi phenomenon. He published these experiments in a paper titled Experimental Studies on the Perception of Movement. The Phi phenomenon is apparent movement caused by alternating light positions. Werthimer illustrated this phenomenon on an apparatus he built that utilized two discrete lights on different locations. Although the lights are stationary, Flashing the lights at succeeding time intervals causes the retina to perceive the light is moving. Werthimer worked with partners Kofka and Carr Paragraph Lair to collect data which ultimately led to their launch of the Gestalt movement. Their findings further demonstrated that the quality of the whole is different from the sum of the parts. The explanation of the Phi phenomena was that movement is perceived because the eye itself moves in response to the successive flashes of light. The movement in observer experiences is based on feedback from the moving eye. Productive thinking, as a gestalt theorist, Max Werthimer was interested in perception, but additionally interested in thought. Max published his ideas in his book Productive Thinking before his death in 1943. Werthimer was interested in making a distinction between reproductive thinking and productive thinking. Reproductive thinking is associated with repetition, conditioning, habits or familiar intellectual territory. Productive thinking is the product of new ideas and breakthroughs. Productive thinking is insight-based reasoning. Werthimer argued that only insightful reasoning could bring true understanding of conceptual problems and relationships. Werthimer encouraged training in traditional logic. He believed traditional logic stimulated thinking. However, he believed that logic alone did not give rise to productive thinking. He believed creativity was also crucial to engage in positive thinking. In productive thinking, similar to his lectures, Werthimer used concrete examples to illustrate his principles. Werthimer used these illustrations to demonstrate the transition from S1, a state where nothing really seems to make sense, to S2, where everything seems clear and the concept grasped. He points out in productive thinking that solving a problem by blind obedience to rules prevents real understanding of the problems. He believes that this blind obedience forestalls a person from uncovering the solution. Max Werthimer's ideas of productive thinking are of continuing relevance in modern ideas of schemas, plans, and knowledge structures today. Gestalt theory, gestalt, in the closest English definition of the term, is translated potentially as configuration, form, holistic, structure, and pattern. According to Gestalt psychology, perception is a whole. In this sense, perception can shape vision and the other senses. Werthimer's work on Gestalt psychology with his colleagues at the New School was seen as an opposition and alternative to the behavioral approach to psychology. Werthimer started the Cognitive School of Psychology. His ideas also challenged structuralism and atomism, in that he and other gestalt psychologists were more concerned about the whole rather than small structures or fragments of an object. Publications M. Werthimer. Experimental Study in a One Quarter Bear Dassey and von Bewegung, Experimental Studies on Motion Vision. 
Zeitschrift Far 1 Quarter A Psychology 61, 161 A Euro 265. Werthimer, M. Unters a Chungen zur Luvon der Gestalt, I. Principial Bemerkungen, Investigations in Gestalt Theory, I. The General Theoretical Situation. Psychologisch Vosschung, 1, 47 A Euro 58. Werthimer, M. Unters a Chungen zur Luvon der Gestalt, 2. Investigations in Gestalt Theory, 2. Laws of Organization in Perceptual Forms. Psychologisch Vosschung, 4, 301 a Euro 350. Werthimer, M. The General Theoretical Situation. In W. D. Ellis, A Sourcebook of Gestalt Psychology. London, England, Routledge and Kagan Paul. Werthimer, M. Gestalt Theory. In W. D. Ellis, a Sourcebook of Gestalt Psychology. London, England, Routledge and Kagan Paul. Werthimer, M. Laws of Organization in Perceptual Forms. In W. D. Ellis, A Sourcebook of Gestalt Psychology. London, England, Routledge and Kagan Paul. Werthimer, M. Productive Thinking. New York, New York, Harper. By his son, Werthimer, Michael. A Contemporary Perspective on the Psychology of Productive Thinking. University of Boulder, Colorado. See also, Berlin School of Experimental Psychology. References. Sources, Michael Werthimer, A Brief History of Psychology, 4th Edition. Fort Worth, Texas, Harcourt Brace, 2000. American Psychological Association. Portraits of Pioneers in Psychology. New York. APA and Ailbaum, 2000. D. Brett King and Michael Werthimer, Max Werthimer and Gestalt Theory. New Brunswick, New Jersey, Transaction Publishers, 2005. Sells, D. L., and Merton, R. K. Max Werthimer. International Encyclopedia of the Social Sciences. New York, Macmillan. Cherry, K. Max Werthimer Biography. Psychology. Complete Guide to Psychology for Students, Educators and Enthusiasts. Retrieved February 25, 2012. Cherry, K. Perceptual Organization, Gestalt Laws of Perceptual Organization. Psychology, Complete Guide to Psychology for Students, Educators and Enthusiasts. Retrieved February 25, 2012. The Thursal, D. History of Psychology. New York, McGraw-Hill. Sares, V. Max Werthimer on Scene Motion, Theory and Evidence. Psychological Research 51, 58 Euro 68 doi, 10.1007 slash BF0030935 8. PMID 2687920. Max Werthimer Memorial Issue. Psychological Research 51, 43 Euro 85. 1989. PMID 2687919. Sares, v. Max Werthimer in Frankfurt, on the Origin and Development Crisis of Gestalt Psychology. 3. Further Studies of Motion Perception. Zeitschrift für Psychologie mit Zeitschrift für Anjuant Psychology 196, 27 Euro 61. PMID 2905852. Sares, v. Max Werthimer in Frankfurt, on the beginnings and developmental crisis of gestalt psychology. 2. Structural rules of motion and space perception. Zeitschrift für Psychologie mit Zeitschrift für Anjuant Psychology 195, 403 Euro 431. PMID 2895554. Sares, v. Max Werthimer in Frankfurt, on the Beginnings and Developmental Crisis of Gestalt Psychology. Initial Studies of Motion Perception. Zeitschrift für Psychology mit Zeitschrift für Anjuant Psychology 195, 283 Euro 310. PMID 2895552. Miller, A. I. Albert Einstein and Max Werthimer, A Gestalt Psychologist's View of the Genesis of Special Relativity Theory. History of Science. An Annual Review of Literature, Research and Teaching 13, 
75 a euro 103. PMID 11,610,002. Werthimer, M. King, D.B. Peckler, M.A. Rainey, S. Schaaf, R.W. Carl Jung and Max Werthimer on a Priority Issue. Journal of the History of the Behavioral Sciences 28, 45 a Euro 56 doi, 10.1002 over 1520-6696, 199201, 28, 13.0 co. 2p. PMID 11612657. External links, International Society for Gestalt Theory and Its Applications, GTA, short biographical articles on Werthimer, A.L. Art, Design and Gestalt Theory, on Max Werthimer and Pablo Picasso, on being Werthimer's student.